How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review on the channel. As you can see today, we have a maintenance review in form 87 rated. I did try and kind of buy my time and wait for this card because he scored a hat-trick last week. He scored four goals this weekend, including a sumptuous chip over Torino's goalkeeper Joe Hart to cap off the hat-trick. Well, the four goals in general, he's just a great player in real life. Is he a great player in this game? That's what we're going to find out today. And we're going to see if he's worth the vast amount of coins. Now, lads, if you do enjoy, smash it like on the video. Let's try and aim for over 1,000 likes yet again. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to j2a.com. Use that code M89. Every single link that you'll need is right there in the description below. And around Mertens, we need a team as always. So, in this, we have Mr. No Hands. It is Gianluigi Buffon. Honestly, this card, it amazes me because he's an 89 rated goalkeeper and he just doesn't save any shots. He's in this. Danny Alves at right back. Red Manolas. We have Chiellini. Alexandro, a solid defensive kind of line. It's very good and it stops the opponents from having shots against the weak goalkeeper in Buffon. Then the midfield, we have Asamoah, who's amazing on this game. We have Patrick Vieira, the one legend in the Serie A squad. And we have Raja, Nayan Golan. Then it come, we have Marquisio. He does very well in that position. And alongside Mertens up top, we have Red, Inform, Dybala. Lads, let's get in this review. So here we go, the last three. Mertens is very expensive, as you can imagine. 600k is what I did pay. And his price range is 37 to 700k on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. He scored eight times in seven games, all in day one. Four star skills, very good. Four star weak foot, sensational. High to low work is perfect for a striker, which he does come out of packs as five foot seven. He's very diminutive, he's very weak, he can't hold up the ball, and that will affect him in that striker role. But you can see the intrigue in spending on a lot of coins on this card because if you had a whole chemistry style, he gets 96 pace, 95 shooting, and 72 physical. He's already got 91 dribbling and 88 passing. In terms of in-game stats, he got 97 agility, 93 stamina, 91 ball control, 90 curve, 91 dribbling. For a striker, 85 finishing is quite decent, but look at that. Long shots, 96. Shot power, 96. Honestly, he's got a crack and strike. The shot power, the curve, the accuracy from range is one of the best I've used on this game. Look at that strike for an example. From the corner of the area, smashing it across the keeper, and it will go into the net. And you'll see in a review that should be out later today in Willian, those shots are broken on this game. And if you hit them from that kind of an angle, it should, and I say should, if he's got good long shots, fly into the back of the net. So that is the key stat the day, 96 long shots. Honestly, from range, he can finesse them like you just seen there in the background, he can power them like you seen in the first clip, or he can take it on his left foot. Honestly, he's kind of ambidextrous. He can hit it on either foot. It does not matter with trees and maidens. Now, in terms of pros, we have the movement. As you can imagine, this card is very fast. He's not like super, super speed, but he's got a great acceleration. He's got great speed, so he is very fast. And his movement for getting in behind the defense, I did have the instruction on, but high to low work rates, he should do that anyways. He should stay on the last man, one through ball, you will be in behind. And you're just not catching them, lads. You are not catching Dries Mertens in full flow. Shot power, unbelievable. Honestly, it's so damn good. 96 shot power. So what you tend to do in front of goal is you never kind of settle it and finesse it slowly in a corner. You smash it every single time. So when it comes down to finishing, if you're finding this finishing not to be too great, it's because you're overemphasizing the amount of power that you've got to put on the ball. You've got to kind of adjust to Merton's style of finishing because his power is that good, his long shots are that good, that you only need to tap the ball for it to go at a million miles an hour. And with Merton's, it flies towards the goal. Dribbling wise, very good. He's very small, so he's got small legs. And with his ball control being very high, with him being very agile, he moves across the ground very, very smoothly. Slow, he's very good at dribbling, and his agility, I've just spoken about that. It's very high, he comes out of skills fast, 
comes out, it dribbles fast, and it is all gravy with this card, but that's where it stops. In terms of cons, strength. He is very weak, he can't hold up the ball, and that will piss you off about the card, and his height. It's not great, he is small, and like I said just before, he can't hold up the ball, so in an ideal position for Mertens, it wouldn't be striker. So what you wanna do is convert him down to a center forward, then convert him down to a cam. That would be the ideal spot for Dries Mertens. So overall, lads, he's gonna get a rating of an 8.9, a very, very good card, and he's gonna get a value for coins, because I still think he's too expensive, a 7.0. Lads, hope you have enjoyed this review and you wanna see that SBC William one later today. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new, lads. And as always, I will catch you all next time. Yeah.